Super Bowl champion New England Patriots off an emotional win last week against the Buffalo Bills take on the Chicago Bears who have lost six consecutive games with Randy Cross and Beasley Reese Kevin Harlan from Memorial Stadium on the campus of the University of Illinois four yards and the offense takes the field this line of White, Compton, Woody, and Drewsy, and Robinson Randall will guard quarterback Tom Brady. As much as you want to say it's important to dwell on last week, Antoine Smith, great game. Edwards, Troy Brown, David Patton, Christian Fourier. The NFL right now is the church of what's happening now. And what's happening for New England is they have to free up Troy Brown. One touchdown this year. Champion Patriots outside the 41. Antoine Smith with the block from Fourier, then wrapped up and brought down in the backfield by Reggie Austin after a gain of five. The Bears defender. 47-yard line, third down and two. Kevin Falk gets the snap and runs outside, and Brian Urlacher smells it out and brings him down at the 44. It's a loss in the play of two on the direct snap to Kevin Falk, and so the New England Patriots... They've got to punt the ball. On the line, Daniels, Christian Peter, Trailer, and Brown. Linebackers, Howard, Erlacher, and Colvin. Great play moments ago by Erlacher in the secondary. McQuarters and a zoom. Chris Chandler takes the field. He is 37 years of age. This will be his third start of the year. Colombo, Dandy, Kruitz, Valerio, and William. And they're the key. The offensive line is the key to the Chicago hopes today. I think this team has to be physical. You got A-Train's got to get going. You got to get the ball outside to White and Booker. Johnny Davis is the tight end for the ball, and Chicago stops themselves more often than not. First down, 15, back at the 15 for Chris Chandler. And off Anthony Thomas sweeps through for Otis Smith, brings him down along with Anthony Pleasant. Sliding up to the 26 and picking up about 12 yards on the carry. The New England defense enters today, number nine in the NFL, McGinnis, Hamilton, Seymour, and Pleasant. Linebackers in the middle, Bruski flanked by Vrabel and Pfeiffer, and in the secondary, Law and Smith at the corners, Malloy and Jones are at the safety. But Kevin start the league. And on second down and a long three from the 27, the pitch out goes to second year Michigan Wolverine running back. Anthony Thomas, who is brought down, close to a first down on the far side. Over there making the stop with Steve Martin as you take a look at Dick Geron, now in his uh, fourth year as the coach. 12, Chris Chandler. You give Chandler protection, he can hurt a defense. First and 10 from the 30. Wrapped and taken down. Sacked on the play, streaming through Teddy Bruschi with his third sack of the season. And back to the 24 and a loss in the play of about five, six yards. Up to the 29-yard line after the penalty. Two down linemen, four linebackers. Shotgun snap, a block by Colombo. Chandler had a third away. It's incomplete. That right back in his face. Seymour was in the vicinity. He may have swatted that ball away. And here, Bruski, another case of that face pressure right in the quarterback's grill. Coming at your number one guy. That's a lot of love. Third and alongside. Kevin Falk got the first down. Breaking a tackle by Brown. A block ahead by Gibbons. And there he goes. A flag is down at the 42-yard line. Chop block. Erlacher goes back in pass coverage. Outside it goes for Troy Brown, dancing his way. Blockers ahead, including Brady. A block by Folk, a block by Brady, and they'll still be shy of the first down. He picks up about nine on the play, and all that running. Snap from Paxton. Leon Johnson is back at the 10. And the former Tar Heel from North Carolina on the fly and brought down nicely by Patrick Pass. And they have to take a pass as he's whacked at the 32-yard line. A 23-yard return after another 55-yard punt. We are scoreless. Pritchett in the backfield. Johnson split as a receiver at the top of your screen. Colombo's got a block, and there's a pass to Des White. Belted by Ted Johnson. Close to a first down up to the 43. Third down, a short yard from the 43. Johnson. He was 
hit hard on the play by Malloy, but not after he gains four yards, and a Chicago first down to the 46. Chicago now faced with third down and five from the Patriot 49. Leon Johnson, former New York Jet, is in the backfield. Chandler, looking one way, no one home. Now he's got a run past the 45, has the first down, and slides to the Patriot 35. A 14-yard scramble. Easily the longest run for this season for Chandler, and a first down for the Chicago Bears. And, and as you can notice here, none of Michael Vick's speed rubbed off on Chris Chandler last year in Atlanta. But what you don't have when you're a young guy like Michael Vick is you don't have the kind of savvy to look down the field, see the style of defense that they're managing. Second down and 10 from the 35. Take the Johnson, blocked by Pritchett in the pass. Blocked by the tight end, John Davis. Tumble on to the 25, picks up nine. One, outside the 25 of the Lincoln, Leon Johnson. Belt hit and brought down by Jarvis Green. Let's talk about looking out of LSU. On this drive, the Bears have converted third and five, third and one, and now third and one again. And 22. Johnson in the backfield and to the end zone. Incomplete looking for Marty Booker. It'll be fourth down, and the New England defense keeps Chicago out of the end zone and will hold the Bears for a three point try. Now, nine yard boot. There's a crosswind here. Edinger has not through seven consecutive field goals. Make it eight. And the Bears score first on a good looking drive. Edinger from 39 yards away. Brady empties the backfield and second down and eight. And that ball is dropped on a quick cross. Uh, in the middle of was Roosevelt Colvin winding up and teeing up Troy Brown. Incomplete third down. And Roosevelt Colvin is a guy that Bill Belichick and all the Patriots spend a lot of time talking about when they talk to us. Eight from the 32 for Brady. Snap from Compton. Good time in the pocket. Good block by White. That's going to be short, although the catch is made by Troy Brown. He picks up seven, tumbling to the 39, had to get beyond the 40. And so now New England has got a punt for a third consecutive time. Each half to a big mistake, to a big play or a big turnover. Going for it. It's a fake. And on the quarterback sneak, they get it. And that qualifies as a big mistake. Backfield, and Brady right to work. The pass outside. It's caught by Troy Brown. Brown and his previous two receptions had been short on third down plays. In motion out of the backfield. Second down and six for Brady. Right down the middle. And it's caught by Troy Brown to the 37 yard line. Picks up 16 yards on the play. The third downs today. Snap by Compton. Hit by Colvin. Brought down. Alex Brown, the rookie from Florida, and Roosevelt Colvin, who Randy was talking about seconds ago, with that sack, which effectively pushes New England out of field goal range. Career long is 55. This will be a 57-yard field goal try by Adam Vinatieri. He's got the distance, and it is good. A career long 57-yard field goal. Get it up in the wind. Let it carry. What's up, Mile High? What's up? <laughs> Detail, just a little something you're not doing perfectly can stop a drive. Bears have to get to the 42, third down 14. Okay. Chandler, the pocket crumbling, fires, bobbled, reeled in by Marcus Robinson, and he is close to a first down up near the 42-yard line on third and 14. Looks like he's got 13 yards. You're better off punting. And getting into the field position game. You gotta try to be getting somebody outside. Quarterback sneak in the second time. The quarterback is running today and has got a first down with the leap out near the 43 yard line. Got him on the field right now, and a guy who has had a litany of concussions. Looks like he's fiddling around with his jaw now. Jim Miller has been the starter, but he's missed time because he's got severe tendonitis in his right elbow, his throwing elbow, and possible rotator cuff uh, problems in his right shoulder. So Chandler is down. Because he got whacked pretty good, maybe a knee to the helmet. Michael Bears against the Philadelphia Eagles. First down and 10-43. Leon Johnson wants the throw and goes down field. 
He's got Booker. And he's out of bounds in Patriot territory. If they called it a catch and do stuff out of the box, you might as well get all the way out of the zip code of the box. <laughs> and this surprises everybody in the stadium, including Bill Belichick and his staff. So Bucky Jones gets there late. Leon Johnson says, what's the big deal? I had it in me all the time. Nowhere near the team they were last week, and Chicago's much better than they were last week. Inside the 30, second down and nine. Miller across the middle, caught by Pritchett. Brought down on the play by McGinnis, gets a gain of seven yards, and it's to the 22-yard line. And I'm assuming that Jim Miller's passes. Chicago Bears, is we're, you know, we're the Bears, and we're just a little off-center. Chandler uh, walking toward me without his helmet on. I just got a report from the Bears, and it's odd. They don't really know what they're looking at yet. They can't really give me a report. They're looking from the shoulder up. He is walking uh, toward me and perhaps toward the inside. Uh, you can see him right now. He's rubbing the back of his neck. And the trainers, once again, I'm told by the Bears, they don't know exactly what area they're looking at. But as he passes me now, he is quite stiff. Back to you. Mushed him right on the top of his head. Third down and two after the Chicago timeout. They run Anthony Thomas up the middle for nothing. And uh, Pittsburgh was up 34-17 in that game. Thank you, Jim. Here's a 40-yard field goal try by Paul Edinger, who's already knocked one in from 39 yards today. And he puts the Chicago Bears up on top of the Super Bowl champion Patriots, 6-3. The Bears are controlling the game, but they've lost their quarterback. A little bit of an edge going in. From the 24, first and 10 for Brady across the middle to Troy Brown. Chased by Erlacher, wrapped by McQuarters. And he's up to the 35. Two safeties back for the Patriots. Maynard will boot it. Falk and Troy Brown are deep back. And this is Troy Brown, who then bumps into his own player. That's Leonard Myers, who has just brought off the physically unable to perform list. 45-yard punt and 11-yard reach. Got to give this Bears defense all the credit in this. 42-yard line, it's a handoff, and Kevin Falk zigzags his way in a block from Compton, and down he goes with Erlacher making the grab. It's a gain of nine. The interesting thing was New England has tried to get better starts. 15-0, 20 to nothing. Second down one, 41 yard line, Erlacher rushing, but there he dumps it off. And it's caught by Kevin Falk with a nice downfield block by Andrews. Out of bounds he goes inside the Chicago 35. It's a gain of 26. The versatile Kevin Falk out of LSU. Great smarts and guts by, by Brady there holding that ball until Erlacher was just there to open up. Brady. Nice block by Robinson Randall. This is off to Dion Branch, who wiggles his way inside the 25, close to a first down. Nothing inside, opening it up. Second down, 125 across the middle. And slashing is Troy Brown for a first down to the Chicago 16. The Patriots have a timeout, and they burn their last one. Line first and 10, 25 seconds to play. New England out of timeouts. And a bullet thrown, caught by David Patton. It's a gain of four. He's to the 12. And that's the guy I was talking about earlier, Mike Caldwell. The ex-Eagle hasn't played much here, done, done, done much here in Chicago. Saying to Bill Belichick and Patriot fans, you'll be tied with the Bears. They said, man, what did we mess up? 31-yard try by Vinatieri, who has a 57-yard field goal in his pocket already. And that ties the game at six. Two field goals on each side. Kevin, I'm with Dick Ron. Dick, it's a, a great battle, great defensive battle going on. Probably going to come down to some type of adjustment. What are you going to tell the guys? Well, we just got to keep playing like we're playing. Obviously, we'd like to score. You know, we've moved the ball okay at times against them, and they're a quality defensive team, but we got to get it in the end zone when we get our chances. I think that's what the game's going to come down to. You know, someone's got to get the ball in the end zone. Both defenses have played really well. Now, talk to me about your quarterback. Do you have any information on him, and what does that throw into your uh, your plan? Well, Chris got hit in the, in the head, and what they told me, he's got a real stiff neck, and they're inside working on his neck. There's no injuries that they're aware of, so he's fine, which is the good news. We'll just have to see how quickly he can come around. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. All right, Beasley, thank you very much. So, Chandler. 
Miller is out at least for the uh, game, we think, and Jim Miller will be in there, bad arm and all, but he has moved the team when he's in, been in their quarterback. And the key word in that conversation between Beasley and Dick Duran is adjustments. But as a unit, it's going right at this bear defense. Don't go sideways. You're playing into their swing. Second down, 10. The Patriots going into the win. The block by Robinson Miranda, but then the pocket fumbles. It's a fumble, and recovered by the Chicago Bears inside the New England 15. Grabbed, I believe, by Philip Daniels inside the ex-Seattle Seahawks, who smothers the ball. It's the first turnover of the game. You want to talk about the things that turn a game? How do you turn a game? You get up the field if you're Alex Brown. You get up the field if you're Philip Daniels. You crush the pocket. The offensive line, they were going to get the run blocking going and protect Brady better. The defensive line made the better adjust. Second down and seven from the 11. Miller to the end zone. Touchdown, Stanley Pritchett. Here's move, and you'll see Roosevelt. I mean, he comes right out of the backfield and easily gets open. I mean, that is just a nice laid-out pass. Miami Dolphin, his first touchdown reception of the year, and the Chicago Bears lead by seven. First down and ten. I think to Antoine Smith, and Brady goes the other way to rookie tight end. Daniel Graham, who is smothered and brought down to the 15. And Antoine Smith slips the tackle of Erlacher, but he did slow him down, and he's up to the 25, picking up 10 yards. Shotgun snap from Compton. Great time for Brady. Dumps it across, incomplete, looking for tight end Cameron Cleland. The coverage by former Philadelphia Eagles starter Mike Caldwell. The momentum in the game is shifting, and New England has got a punch. Trying to make people move, and they're doing a great job of stuffing the receivers of New England. Ken Walls with a punt, Leon Johnson back inside the 30. There's a spin to the win, and it's kept low, and it's returnable by Johnson, who's finally belted and brought down on the play by Gerard Chill. A 35 yard punt, and Leon Johnson slow to get up. Well, that's more embarrassment than anything else. Flag back at the 25. The sandwich and hope you can go home with a win. I see some of your classic hidden yards coming into play right here. We'll talk about that in a second as Walter will again boot it into the win. Bad punt. And dying at about the 44. It's all about the hidden yard theory you've got. Well, the hidden yards. Remember where Leon Johnson was laying on the ground embarrassed? 20-yard difference between where he was and where they're getting the ball. Consecutive start in New England territory from the 44, first and 10, and around. Looks like Booker wants to pass. The former high school quarterback downfield, and it's caught by Robinson with a Chicago touchdown. Sandwich game, and John Shoup and the offensive team for the Chicago Bears is so far out of the box, they're almost conventional. <laughs> Marty Booker. To Marcus Robinson, Beasley was just down. You want the defense to react this way and then go back. You want them to worry about the run. Then they're worrying about the pass. That ball, with the wind, got right over the top of to Bucky Jones to Marcus Robinson. See, even Booker's not positive he threw that far enough, but the wind lofted it up to Robinson. Good point. To Bucky Jones was positive it was going to come down. So here comes here comes Booker. He's going to come around. Robinson is going to head down the field. But look at Tabucky Jones. Watch the safeties and how they handle this play. The linebackers react. The safeties are back. Now look at Tabucky Jones. There's Tabucky. He figures he's got it, but the ball floats. It's with the wind. And you'll hear for the next 10 minutes of the third quarter, it's more evident big week after big week for Brady. And this is the kind of situation where a quarterback cuts their teeth as far as, are you that extra special guy? He just fumbled the snap from his center, Damian Woody, but he leaps back on it, losing a couple yards. Second down in about 12. He's you have to say that to yourself right now if you're Tom Brady. Just relax a little bit. I can make the play. Back outside the 23, second down, 13. Good block by Robinson Randall, and it's intercepted. Brian Urlacher makes the foot. That's his first interception of the season. The sixth of his career. 
and the New England Patriots have turned it over for a second time today. A little further out, control the ball, put up the points. Second down and 10, Thomas getting a nice block from Pritchett, and here he goes, a foot race with Piper, and he is out of bounds at the one. Today. Last week, the Bears' offense couldn't play dead. Right now, going against the defending world champions, they look like Walter Payton in the 85 Bears offense, <laughs> doing the unexpected and pounding the ball. This is what you have to do when you get a mistake. You take advantage, and you smack the other guy in the mouth. First and goal around the crystal area block. It's an easy walk-in touchdown for Anthony Thomas. This is just excellent offensive football. Valerio comes around. Olin Kurtz blocks back. Left, Gandy blocks down. Watch 58, Valerio, the right guard. Around, follow, stroll. It's usually around, follow, dive. But when you're blocking this good, you throw stroll into the vocabulary because you don't have to worry about guys. In and Tom Brady getting final instructions. He'll take his offense back out there. Last year's Super Bowl MVP, and he came in to today as the sixth-rated quarterback in the NFL. Taking advantage of your possession to get points. 25-yard line, first and tennis. Brady looking for his second option out of the backfield. Antoine Smith tripped up nicely around the play by Jerry Azuma. No huddle offense, 30-yard line, second down and five. Brady across the middle. And he's got his tight end, shy of the first down. That's for the first time today, Cameron Cleveland. Very athletic. New England has not converted a third down today, all of seven. Now they do. Troy Brown, who they've gone to on previous third down plays, makes the catch, crosses the threshold. He's up to the 41, gaining seven yards. Again, it's Troy Brown, a gain of four near the 45. They hit him, and that's what they need to do to get back in this game. Second down and six. Screen pass for Antoine Smith, the block downfield by Woody. Slashing inside, he takes a tumble into the 36-yard line. 19-yard pickup and some good downfield blocking. Good record out of it. Then you're on your way. Reggie Austin is being helped off his feet and onto the cart. And he will be taken off. He was one of two Bears that were injured on that play. Austin is three years out of Wake Forest. Hey, you know, Kevin, we all came here today to, to see a, a high-powered, quick-strike offense. The free agent is just now coming back. If you're Charlie Weiss, that's the guy you want to get matched up. See how the wheel's doing. Falk in the backfield, first and ten. Take the Falk. The fake end around, it's off the fault. A block by Fourier downfield he goes after gaining about 14 yards. The entire league good. Ray Rugemer is now in at right guard. First and ten. Kevin Falk, a Rugemer block, and Falk head over heels down to about the 15 on a gain of six. The Patriots are being very patient and efficient. Second down four, 15 yard line outside Kevin Falk. Throws an open track and takes it in, corkscrewing for a touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown reception. And the New England Patriots might, just might be back in business. Well, it's just what I said. Dick Duran's defense can't be too soft. Dean, 3.04 to play in the third quarter. Plenty of time. Falk picks up his second touchdown reception of the year. Any Brady questions? throws his 19th touchdown pass. Kevin, yeah, any questions about the value of a mobile quarterback like a Tom Brady able to scoot out, get out, get the ball quickly to your running back? He's pretty good on that drive, too. Well, seven of seven on that drive is all that patient offense did scoring that touchdown. Seven. Puts it in the backfield by himself. Des White on the move. And a pass by Miller is intercepted by Otis, Wilson, Otis Smith, who takes it down the side and inside the 25-yard line. That's his second interception of the season, a 23-yard return, and Chicago's first turnover today. What no one takes advantage of mistakes better than Otis Smith. He's not the best corner in the league. He's not even the best corner on his team. 
But I'm not sure if there isn't a guy in this league that isn't at the right place at the right time more often in the last two or three years than Otis Smith. So a field goal here is not bad if you don't get a first down. Third down and eight, 23 yard line, Brady outside and incomplete. Third down trip, Caldwell was on him. Fourth down and they will have to try for three. Means you've got to drive it a little bit more, and it usually means it's got to be a little lower. You have to be stout in the middle. A 42 yard try. Paxton with the snap. And he splits him from 42 yards away in New England. Cashes in on the Otis Smith interception to climb closer to the Bears and make it an 11-point, 27-16 Chicago lead. Back inside the 25. Maynard Spunk. The wind holding it off. 23-yard line for Brown. Getting by the first wave. It's a block from Harris. Grabbed by the guy who centered the ball, Patrick Manley. He races downfield, 16-yard return, and a 43-yard punt for the Chicago punt. 39-yard line for Tom Brady. The pitch out to Antoine Smith. Slipping a couple tackles, then brought down by Moore. A gain of seven on the play. Alfonso Boone was there. By the way, the run-pass ratio today... 33 passes, 14 runs for the New England offense. Last week in the win over Buffalo, they ran it 35 times. They passed it 27. And three outside the 45. And Antoine Smith. Oh, and a fumble on the play as they go diving for the loose ball. It's at the 49 of Chicago. Patriots have it, I think. But he was not down when that ball got ripped out. There's Brady, and they just threw a flag on Brady for shoving a Chicago player off the heat. Recovered by the offense. They have a personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Number 12 offense. 15-yard penalty. It will be first and 10 by rule. Tom Brady, here's the penalty. You know what? It wasn't smart, but I still like it. First play, fourth quarter, Brady first and ten. Out of the pocket, he scrambles, finds his fullback, Edwards. And he bulldozes his way for a first down up to the 49, a gain of 13 yards. And today, third down and ten. On the New England 49. With the empty backfield, Brady swings it outside, caught by Edwards, who worked on... McWhorter's outside, a gain of 12 on third and 10 to the 39 of Chicago. No huddle again, first and 10 inside the Chicago 40 for Brady. Dumps it across the middle, Troy Brown trying to squirm his way away from Jerry Azuma. Gain of six and down to the 33. They're on their toes. Right now they're back up on him. Second down, four, fuck in the backfield, and Brady again outside. Looking for Fourier, the tight end, and the catch is made, and for a first down at the Chicago 28. As I've seen him, he's a guy, I think, very much in control of his team and in control of his emotions and organization. Third and seven from the 25. Brady moving up, he's got to get to the 18, has the first down, sliding down to about the 14-yard line. The scrambling Brady picks up 11 on third down and seven. Fired up Cowboy right now. This kid is playing with the emotion and the sparks. He, he, he's complaining here. It says they can't. 13th play of the drive from the 13. First and 10. Kevin Falk finds a gap and goes into the grasp of Ernest Grant. He takes it inside the 10 near the 8. Gain of 5. Five receivers to pull. Comes the blitz. And Brady to the end zone and broken up beautifully in the end zone by Todd McMillan, who has himself been maligned this season. Yard try, he's had a perfect day kicking. The wind is at his back and he easily chips it up. And New England continues to chip away at that Chicago lead. 27-19 the Bears. Absolutely. They, they've had two down linemen, they've had one down linemen, they've had no down linemen. Bears 34, they missed their last seven third downs from the 46. 
Miller. Crossing pattern, he's got Booker. Slashing his way to the 32-yard line. He picks up 14 on third and four. First down and 10 with Chicago at the 32. Anthony Thomas. Roman Pfeiffer slow him down after a gain of seven. And down in three. Outside the 25. Thomas again, pitch at the lead block. Cuts the corner, hands the first down. And still on his feet. Brought down by Victor Green. He is to the 17-yard line with a pounding gain of eight. And third down and six from the 11. Look at the 14. Thomas outside. Sabucky Jones can't bring him down. Finally, he is wrapped up and devoured by Jarvis Green. Flag has been thrown on the far side. You think it's a hold? Absolutely. And then getting it back. Edinger has kicked nine consecutive field goals, two straight today. 32-yard try into the wind. The hold by the punter, Brad Maynard. And he hits the upright, and it ricochets in. And it's 30 to 19, an important three points for the Chicago Bears. Well, Bill Belichick saw the Chicago Bears fill the prescription. They got the field position, and they got some very valuable points. And a lucky bounce. Time off. Doesn't make it easier to attack this defense. Third and six. A gain of three on the play. For Troy Brown, he had to get up to the 47-yard line. Patriots two timeouts. Chicago has three. Oh, the other fourth down try. Brady fires the pass, and it's caught by Troy Brown, who is drilled by the other Brown, Mike Brown. No relation. A 13-yard pickup to the Chicago 43. Brady literally moves up and outside it goes, and it's caught by the rookie out of Notre Dame, David Gibbons, on a gain of five. McMillan with the tackle to the 37-yard line. And they're coming at it. Here comes Erlacher. Here goes the pass. A one-handed catch by Kevin Falk, and a block downfield by Patton, and a Patriot touchdown. A 36-yard strike. Chicago Bears defense attacks, attacks. Attacks and watch Tom Brady hold the ball as his running back fall, circles out of the backfield, heads up field, and one hands it. That is the poise of a winner like Tom Brady and what he brings to your football team. And they're going for two. Second touchdown pass today by Brady, both times to Kevin Falk. Now trying for two. Shotgun snap by Compton, and it goes right to Falk. And a block by Light, and look at the tackle by Brian Erlacher. Bears. Thomas. Weaves his way past the 35, brought down by Lawyer Malloy and Ted Johnson. He gains nine. Well, if you want somebody that knows how to run with the ball in these situations, get yourself a Michigan halfback. Out of third and one today. Thomas in the backfield. And he's got the call, and he did not get it. Richard Seymour plugged the gap, along with Anthony Pleasant and Ted Johnson. And New England's defense comes up with a huge defensive stand. Turn. Into the wind, set up your return. That's Troy Brown. He's returned three for touchdowns in his career. The guy who snapped the ball, Patrick Manley, brings him down at the 44. Ten-yard return, a 32-yard punt into a pretty stiff breeze. One interception. First and ten. Great time. Fires the pass downfield. And it was caught. It was grabbed. David Patton makes the grab at the Chicago 37-yard line. Eight down and ten inside the 38 of Chicago. Brady, again, wonderful time. And feeds it off to running back Kevin Falk, who is wrapped up by Brian Robinson after a gain of seven. He's to the 30, and the clock continues to roll. Young quarterback like Brady, you're cutting your teeth on a legend. Can you finish it off? Third down and three. What? And intercepted! And then dropped and fumbled after the pick. It may have been Brian Robinson, who has not made an interception in his career. He then fumbled the ball the ball. 
It's about whether or not Robinson has possession. I mean, Brady's trying to throw it softly and doesn't even consider as it bounces off the defensive lineman's head where it could go. The ball's coming out there right after the chop. Now, does he have possession? Does he have it? Does he have it? Does he have it? I would say no. No. I'd agree 100%. I thought the first time we looked at it, he had it before he went to the ground, but it was moving the entire time. We are reviewing whether the interceptor had the football long enough to qualify for an interception. Gray hair and your, your game is coming down to this one play. You thought you had made such a huge play, but now looking at it again on tape, it would appear this is an incompletion. He does not have control of that ball at any time of that. And not having control makes the recovery by Colvin a moot point. It was ruled an interception on the field, so it has to be conclusively not an interception with the view of McElwee on the sideline. The guy who and, is... and this is the angle right here that Bob McElwee will look at. He doesn't have it as it's shifting. He's trying to put it away. He just never puts it away. With Tom Brady and the Patriots. After reviewing the play, the ball is moving all the time. The interceptor is trying to secure the ball. The ruling is an incomplete forward pass. Which is the right call. Absolutely. Not popular here in Champaign, but is the correct call. And Well, if you're an optimist, you say Robinson has a chance to go out and make another big play. It's fourth and third. we got to get inside the 28. Brady with the quarterback sneak, and he plows his way ahead in what appears to be a first down plunge. He goes the spot. is all important. The clock is rolling. Plenty of time. And now they stop it. McAlee will stop the play. Brady gets away from Colvin. Now here comes Colvin. He throws the ball. It's a completed pass. And it's caught by Falk, who's brought down by Erlacher at the 21. It's a gain of seven. The clock continues to move. The play in the third quarter. Third down and three. Eighth play of the drive from the Chicago 20. Brady gets away from Colvin and to the end zone. Caught by Patton. Where is he? Got to see that again to see if those feet were in. Were the feet in? Feet in. David Patton, one, one two. two. Got in the eye. Touchdown. Remember, it's not only the feet, it's possession. Does he have the ball? And then are the feet in. Ball, catch, two. He towed it. His left foot. One more time. Down. Do you have the ball? Yes. One, drag, that's a touchdown. But they will review it upstairs. They've already uh, issued the catch, drag, second, six points. It is under review right now. And, of course, as we said, anything under two minutes becomes the booth official signaling down to Bob McElwee, which he has done. And Bob McElwee now is looking at the replay. Never say never. You don't ever say it's over until you see all zeros in the scoreboard. Well, After reviewing the play, the right foot is down in the end zone. The receiver has the ball. He taps his left foot. It is a touchdown. That is a perfect job by Bob McAwee. A wonderful explanation to the crowd. They may not like it, but it's a perfect explanation. And Brady sends Brown in motion. The fake to Smith. And Brady for two, and he's got it. And it's 33 to 30, and so New England has bought a bit of insurance. 17 seconds. Miller again. Pocket crumbles and brought down. The pressure came from all sides, and that was authored by Mike Vrabel, his third sack of the season. Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds. Yep. I don't know if you even rush anybody. Knock it down. Third down, 13, going outside. The lateral from Robinson to Booker, who is upended by Otis Smith. 
That takes us to zero, and that's the game. The Chicago Bears watch the New England Patriot offense score on their last five possessions. Dick Geron and his Bears have lost seven consecutive games. And Bill Belichick and New England go to five and four with their second consecutive road win. How many chances can you give a world champion before they're going to take advantage of it and make you pay? And Chicago found out exactly how many, one too many. Tom Brady made the Chicago Bears regret they ever gave him those extra chances.